Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Sorcerer King. My name is Marlo, and uh, so we're going to try this game again um, on a different map. Uh, and we're going to try a smaller map this time. We don't want to make this thing go too long. Um, I don't want to waste your time necessarily, but uh, although I hope you find this interesting. We're going to try this mountain pass map, uh, and we're going to we'll leave the difficulty where it is, although I will say that at the moment, the game is pretty hard, um, and I'm not the only one to think so. Uh, apparently, uh, from what I've read on the forums, a lot of the folks playing it right now are, are reporting that the game is fairly difficult, uh, which is not a bad place for it to start out in terms of, um, you know, the balancing process that's going on. So we'll leave everything else the same. We're just going to change the map. Of course, we're going to play the exact same Sovereign that we played before because that's the only one that we have. So we're that wizardy guy and we have the hypnotism ability which we did not remember to use even once last time uh, but hopefully we'll, we'll do things differently this time. I've been doing a lot of reading uh, on the forums and uh, you know just trying to learn more about uh, how the game works and I learned some things certainly from our last playthrough so we're going to try it again. All this text I went through last time and it is unchanged. Uh, so uh, we'll have the city of Athica just like we had last time. And there's a humble inn over here. Um, and here's our warrior's army and of course our city. Let us build, well, let's choose our building last. Okay, now we already see that there's metal over here, and a treasure chest over here, and one over here, of course. Now, I think, well, let's choose our spell first, uh, and our, the spell that we're going to choose is, um, well, this is to research. Uh, let's research... Hmm. Let's research Warrior's Aura. Well, I don't know. Uh, oh, you know, this one was one that looked useful last time. Uh, where a target unit will suffer critical hits from all attacks. Uh, that can be wonderfully useful. Now, we ha already have... A, uh, a shard inside of our territory, which we didn't have last time. I mean, we're already off to a better start here. There's metal over here, there's treasure chests, there are inns where we can recruit people. Uh, so, much better start. We're going to start by building the shard, and then uh, the shard shrine, I should say. And then I think we're actually going to start by training a pioneer. Uh, to come build an outpost over in this area um, because it's gonna take a long time for our city to spread its borders out this far it may not be possible for it to reach out this far honestly so we're going to see if we can get an outpost over there um, alright let's go get this treasure chest and get some materials and then let's come over towards this end and see what we can learn over here all right, I think that will end our first turn on this new map, which hopefully will go better. It'd be hard for it to go much worse. Um, and, uh, oh, apparently the uh, I learned from a commenter on one of the other videos, the administrator guy that we found, uh, he is just that. He's an administrator, and we should have left him back here at the castle, apparently, and that would have uh, been helpful to us. So... Uh, thank you for that, and uh, that's what we'll do if we come across him again. Okay, after a tiring day fighting evil, you arrive at an inn. Upon entering the common room, you find a thoroughly mediocre band butchering a classic drinking song. A group of tough music enthusiasts begin pitching their crockery at him. Things are about to get ugly. Alright, I can sit back and watch. I can say this bard must pay for his crimes against rhythm. I can sigh loudly and demand the thugs leave the bard alone. 
or I can approach the bard and offer him a job more suitable to his skills. Ah, uh, the bard sounds interesting. Let's do that. Uh, you congratulate him before he can respond. You shake his hand hard. You make sure he feels it. All right, a pikeman. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, so, I'm happy with that. Let's see what we can find out that way. I know there's another treasure chest down here, but I'm interested in seeing if we can locate another shard relatively close by. I don't know whether we can or not. Uh, okay. That doesn't look promising. Um, and our magic... Okay, we're just going to leave that alone for right now. I think that's going fairly well. This guy seems to want to beat down. And we are so much more powerful than him that he declines to fight us. And we got some iron, which is outstanding. Uh, I'm looking forward to crafting more things. Now, uh, one of the things that has come up in the forums is that it seems like the Doomsday Counter goes by awfully fast. And uh, apparently... Uh, the pace at which that happens is subject to change depending on feedback um, and quite a few of us have said something about uh, about it maybe being a bit fast so um, yeah so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens with that I think that when they add the minor factions or well I should say when they fully implement the minor factions I think they're probably going to have to slow it down some because it seems like a large part of the game is interacting with these factions and I don't think it would be a lot of fun to feel rushed while you're doing that so we'll see what happens uh, right now I my personal feeling is that it goes a little fast uh, we'll end our turn there's you know we're still doing things down here that we were doing before all right let's attack these guys all right their combat rating is nine uh, we're gonna do the battle because I don't trust the auto battle um, yeah so that has happened and we're going to bring uh, Tandis the warrior over here and lay a smite down on this guy Kia and we're gonna bring Bailey in and uh, you know use make use of the of the swarm mechanic oh the pikemen are good the pikemen are good. Alright. Sir Kale, who bit the bullet really fast last time. We're going to rush towards the archers with you. I'm not terribly concerned about this wolf. Oh! And... Yep, he's dead. Well, we probably should have seen that coming. Um, I can't say that I'm surprised that it happened. So, you know... Um, but that's all right. Oh, we didn't use our howl. Let's do that. And we'll move our units. And here comes the wolf to try to kill us. But, you know, this pikeman's actually a pretty powerful unit. We're going to be able to build pikeman later, uh, but it's going to be in quite some time. I mean, there's a lot of buildings we have to build between now and then. Um before that happens. So it's not surprising to me that uh, the wolf here is unable to really do much damage to our pikemen. Let's see what we can do to the wolf. Uh, that was convincing. Okay. So pikemen equal good. Uh, and that's something we didn't get to do last time because we didn't find any metal and we didn't find any crystals. We really didn't have a chance to build some of the higher level uh, units. Let's wander into the bandit camp and clear it out. And this is definitely a place where another city can be built. So that is wonderful. Uh, two dodge per level. Inspire. I think the dodge is good. Uh, to me it's hard to justify picking anything else right here um, for this first level anyway at least at this point. Uh, okay, our Sovereign has leveled up. That's happy. Uh, I think gaining... Uh, I think that's great. Scholarship, learning things faster is good. 
All of this is really good. I think they've done a really good job, at least so far, of making these, um, you know, hard to choose between. And that's what you want. You don't want, I think, uh, to be picking the same exact thing every time. You want it to be difficult to pick. Uh, and you want different choices to be valid based on your circumstances. So, uh, we'll take that one and we'll end our turn. But yeah, this is definitely a settlement spot. And see, you can see the icons floating up here. But the way it works is uh, when you have these dark green patches, that's really what you're looking for, evidently. And for some reason, I did not realize that. A shard in the southeast is currently under attack. Okay. Um, yeah, and so also later on, there's going to be spells that you can use to repair shards or heal them or, you know, whatever you want to... However you want to think of that. Um, so, all right, we are going to build an outpost right here. Extend our range, and then we are going to build this uh, metal resource. And uh, yeah, now as soon as we can, we really need to get a. Uh, <laughs> We need to get a settler up here so that we can build uh, another city. Okay, there's another bandit camp. And they have similar units to what they had last time. Okay, idle cities. Now, gosh. Oh, we almost have enough mana to summon another pioneer. So I think that's what I'll do. In the meantime, I'm going to build the work camp so that we can build other things faster. All right, and we have uh, discovered that spell, so we need to pick a new one. Uh, healing is never a bad thing. Okay, so let's see if we can kill these guys. And the first thing we're gonna do is dodge. And the second thing we're gonna do is howl. And then, hey, look, we're dodging already. All right, let's uh, make use of our pikemen here to kick Major Butt. And they're probably going to shoot at, yeah, the wolf. He's probably the target with the least hit points at this at this point. And I don't know exactly, but it appears to me that the way the tactical AI works is ranged. Uh, well, that's disappointing. Ranged units um, are going to go for the tactical. Excuse me, they're going to go for the unit with the least hit points um, first and kind of work their way up the food chain. That's that's what it looks like. Now, what is this? Slay. Attack mounted units for double damage. Oh, okay. Impale. Strikes the unit behind the one him at seven. Okay, that's a holdover from uh, Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes. So, uh, man, that guy is slippery. Good grief. We're just not doing anything to him. All right, our wolf is dodging oh, very well so far. They have not managed to hit him with a single arrow, but that guy's managed to hit him. Oh, good. He's dead. Okay, let's get rid of some archers. And the pikeman is very good at, at, at killing those. Uh, we're going to run away with this unit. Not that I think that it actually will do anything, because as far as I can tell... There are no range damage penalties, um, but we'll see if 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 we can we'll get as far away as we can and see what happens. All right. Well, it doesn't matter because the pikeman is next, and really, you know, you can tell by looking over here, and I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, all right. Tandis has leveled up again, and we're going to take that area. We're going to uh, level our champion up. Uh, this gives him plus 10 initiative for the first turn of combat. Um, I don't know that we need that immediately because he's almost always going first right now. Anyway, let's take the plus 2 dodge because staying alive is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, okay, we will not move them any further at this time. And then we'll come here. And we are going to summon this settler unit. 
Now it should appear next turn. So actually what I am going to do is if I can move it. No, I can't move it back. Alright, so what are we going to build? Oh, bugger. We summoned the work camp. Crap. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, we're going to build the pioneer. That was a misclick. I was not paying attention. I thought that I could be building one thing and then summon uh, another thing, and apparently uh, you can't do that. So, um, alright, we're going to make this helm and equip it to Tandis the Warrior. And we're going to make a fireball scroll. Uh, crafting is, is wonderful. Okay. Let's... Come back down this way. That's as far as we can go. I do wish that the movement on the strategic map was a little more. Just a little more would be good. Um, Alright, the Doomsday counter has gone up a little bit. Um, I think what happens is it goes up a little bit just every so many turns, even if nothing has really happened. Um, I think is how that is how that goes. Um, but uh, at any rate, let's try to see what we can see here. There's a lot of choke points here, which in some ways will probably be very helpful. Uh, of course, you know, there's just as many choke points for us as there is for the AI. But, um, all right, let's, I'm going to go for production right now because I want to get that settler built as fast as I can. Oh, and I am officially an idiot because I don't have enough mana to cast enchanted hammers. Well, that's something I should have really paid attention to before. We'll see if that will come back to bite us. Um, yep, just wasn't thinking about that one. I got all excited about our exploration possibilities. And what is that? Cave. Medium strength. I think we'll probably leave that a B for right now. Alright, let's come back this way. And our pioneer will be done in one more turn. And there he is. And we're going to send the pioneer up there. Very, very, very slowly. Um, okay. Now. Gosh, we're still not building a lot of buildings, are we? Um, right, let's build a garden, and then we're going to build a scout. Um, because I want to... I want these guys to be down here kind of more, so that... I don't think anything's going to, you know, pop up and, uh, you know, attack us or anything. But it'd be nice to, uh, to be sure. Um... Let's go for the Warrior's Aura, because that could be useful to have on a city if we ever remember to do a city enchantment. Um, okay, end our turn. We'll wait there. We'll come back up. And I think we're going to build it the city right here. Which may be an odd place, but it's got two hammers. It doesn't have as much food, but... Mm, I don't know. This... Yeah. Maybe that is better. Honestly, I'm not sure uh, at this point what's more valuable uh, when you're first founding a city. You know, hammers or food. Uh, what can our outpost do? We can rename it, raise it, or details. Uh, oh, we can upgrade things. Um, can we upgrade that? Oh, okay. That's just what we have right now. Okay. Um, oh, our Sovereign has leveled up. That's nice. Let's have our units gain XP a bit faster. Now, 
I'm not going to build it right. I mean, it's either going to be right here or right here. And the question is, what's better, food or hammers? And the answer is, I don't know. I tell you what, though, I'm going to go for the production. This may be a mistake. Yeah, that's. A, I don't think that's what we want to do. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pass that for right now. Okay, another shard is under attack. Okay, there is an enemy city right there. And that's not too far away from us. If we look, that's actually very close. We could actually do something about that in the near future. Uh, so I think we will. Let's, let's first go right here and settle. And we see that... Uh, we now have a new city and we're gonna bring our hero back down here as quickly as possible and Avalan will build uh, a work camp I think yes let's build a work camp and we have another idle city I wanted to build a scout I think we also need a barracks, of course. Um, but let's build a scout first. There's just too many things to build at the same time. Uh, okay, that one's under attack as well. Uh, but but again, since the map is so small, hopefully we can actually, uh, you know, do something about it this time. That would be nice. Let me select my units, please. Now, I would love to get another unit or two in Tandis' army, but I'm just not sure how much that's going to happen. A very sinister man has entered the capital requesting to see you. He says his name is of no importance, but who he represents is. The Sorcerer King will soon control this world, but there's no reason why uh, your, your people should suffer. He seeks an alliance with you. All you must do is cease protecting the remaining shards. I'm going to say, up your butt and around the corner. Okay. So the Doomsday Counter is reduced a bit, which is nice, and yeah, so that's just going to take a while. Um, okay. Again, very close to us. We can actually have some effect. Oh, and that's a good place to build a city. So... Let's creep down this way. Okay, yeah, and this is a tiny map, so we can expect that it's going to be smaller. And that's fine. Um, oh gosh. We seem to have company. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of hit points that they have there. We do not have anywhere near that many hit points. Um, let us retreat into the city, I suppose. That was unanticipated. Um... Right. So we could stand now that blizzard spell is really strong, but um it also takes a long time to research right now. So let's take Divine Protection. And we're gonna send our uh, scout around to get the treasure chests. Because scouts can do that, as we learned in the last series. Uh, oh, there's horses over there, too. Yeah, we gotta settle over there. Okay. Now. What can we train? A soldier? Five turns. Alright, let's train it. Oh, the city has leveled up again. I think we're gonna go for hardcore production here. And 
it still is going to take five turns, huh? Okay. We could summon him, but I don't think we're going to do that. That Darkling will be dead very soon. How's our city doing up here? It's just chipping away at that. Uh, okay, let's move our... our scout around and uh, again you can't put him on auto explore because he won't put up the chest if you do that. Uh, okay, city has leveled up, I suspect. Yes, it is in fact. Alright, we're going to pick up mostly hammers right here because we went all food before and see if that uh, helps us in any way. Okay. Let's try pushing out just a bit. Let's see if. Oh gosh, they're still here. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Alright, we gotta build things. Let's build a barracks so we can build some higher level units. Those guys are probably going to hurt us. Um. What can you do? Alright, let's build a garden here. And we'll end our turn. Okay, those guys left us alone. And we are just... Oh, hello! That is, appears to me, to be a, uh, a minor faction unit. Now, those guys are here. Let's see if we can go into the outpost and avoid them. Yeah, we're just going to pass right now. And they've still got 200 hit points. Good lord. Their attack's only 19, and ours is 23, but I think they could just outlast us, quite honestly. Um, Alright, let's just pass and see what they do. They really need to go away. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's not good. It's not good. Alright. Okay, we've got a choke point here, so... Maybe... Maybe we can in some way use this to our advantage. Alright, let's see if we can actually do any damage to them. That's, could have been worse. Um, let's use a fireball scroll on them. That did a little bit. Let's come here and use the impale. Okay. This might be doable. all he can do. And everybody's just freaking afraid. Oh gosh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let us shield bash these guys. Alright, now we've created a little bit of room for our um, wolf to hopefully survive. This howl is a nice ability. And we'll pass that. And we're going to bring this guy down here. And we're going to uh, smite. And we're going to move him further away. And can we cast anything of any use? You know what? Let's cast a flame dart. Why not? 
Better than doing nothing. Let's bring these guys down. And launch an attack. And then... Let's come down here. Ooh, that was a nice one. Uh... Ouch. Okay, we're gonna survive this. I do believe. Okay, th that one's almost dead. Uh, what does this ability do? Attack mounted units. Yeah, that doesn't help us. Um, we can't cast another... Okay, good. That one is dead. And we really need to protect that pikeman unit. I do not want to lose it. We're going to run him away actually. He did it. He did his job. He did his job. Uh, yeah, you can stay over there. That's yeah, fine. You can cast all the fear you want. And we will use the sweep ability. And take them both out. Excellent! And we got some nice loot. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So we're not doing too bad. Uh, we have managed to uh, not lose any, any units. Um... Except for Sir Gale, but you know, that's pretty much guaranteed. Um, we're going to take Brute. And uh, we have idle units. Oh, yeah. Can we talk to these guys? Can we initiate a conversation? It says we can with these. He has nothing to say to you right now. Okay. Embarrassingly, crummy default beta default text. What do you want? Hi, we should work together to defeat our common foe. Do you have any items you could spare for me? We need your help. Let's work together to defeat, defeat our common foe. Unfortunately, this isn't even possible in this beta build. And let me tell you why. Stardock sucks. Hear me out on this. The world is on the verge of destruction. A madman is on the verge of becoming a genocidal god. And your only realistic path to victory is building a um, last alliance of remnants to defeat him. And do they put out this beta with that end? Do they? No. Uh, holy cow, you seem really frustrated about this. Okay, so there's nothing we can do there. Um, so yeah, so this is a minor faction, and that has yet to be completely implemented. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, Alright, we also have more idle units here, but I... I want our units to recover a bit. Um, hit points 26 out of 26, 2 out of 15, 6 out of 33, yeah. They're just gonna stay there right now. But we're gonna head down this way and try to clear this out and take this area for our for another city. Um, <clears throat> we want to have another shard in our territory and expanding is going to be very important. I'm not really worried about that guy. Um, Okay, well folks, I think that's about 30 minutes for this episode, so we're, I'm going to cut the video here. Um, I think we're off to a much better start uh, in this, uh, this go-round. I've I got to say, it's really hard to decide you know, what to do, what to prioritize. Ooh, let's make something. Healing potion. That's handy. Oh, let's make another one. And a ring of defense. Excellent. And guess who's going to get it? Tandis. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we, we will start to spread some of that out a little bit as we gain more and more ingredients. But uh, at any rate, I hope you're doing well. Hope you continue to do well. And I'll catch you in the next one.